Many guides out there will say that in order to access fast boot mode on Android, you'll need to press and hold a certain combination of hardware buttons while the phone is booting up. However, that isn't the only way to access this special boot mode. And I understand that there are going to be some folks out there who have smartphones or tablets that have broken buttons, whether that's a broken power button or broken volume buttons. So today, I want to show you a simple ADB command that will reboot your device from the Android operating system into fast boot mode, aka bootloader mode. Now, in order to do this though, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. And the first thing that you want to do is enable developer mode. This is done by tapping on the build number entry within the about phone section around seven to 10 times. But if you're not aware of what this is or how it is done, then I'll be sure to link to a dedicated guide that I've already done down in the video description below. I'll also have this in the pinned comment as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. With developer mode enabled, the next thing we're gonna to need to do is dive into the newly revealed developer options menu. And then from here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit until you find the USB debugging mode toggle. This will be disabled by default, but it's really easy to enable on most devices. I have seen Xiaomi add a couple of warnings to this toggle, but that's usually it. You want to tap on this to enable this feature. Now, the last thing that you need to do is install ADB and Fastboot tools onto your laptop or desktop PC. This is something else that I've already done a dedicated video about, so I'll have that linked below as well. But it usually involves simply downloading the tools directly from Google and then extracting them, or installing a toolkit, which can make the process a little bit easier. I understand that this can be a lot of requirements in order for you to get to this point, but you can be relieved that you've done most of the work already. We're now going to connect our smartphone or tablet to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're gonna open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window from within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So we're gonna open up our platform tools folder which has our ADB and Fastboot EXE files. So if you know where these files are, an easy way of launching a terminal window from here is to hold the shift button on your keyboard and then right click on an empty area within this folder. You should see an open command prompt, open in terminal, or open a PowerShell window option within this list. So we're gonna left click on that and gain access to our command prompt within our platform tools folder. It won't matter which one of those that you pick, we just wanna get a prompt from within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Now, we could just execute the ADB command to reboot the phone but it's usually recommended that the first thing you do is execute the command adb space devices. Not only will this command start up the adb server on your computer, but it will also tell you if you have a successful connection to the device itself. Also, if this is the first time that you're doing this on your Android smartphone or tablet, executing this command while the phone is connected, will bring up the USB debugging mode prompt up on your screen. You'll want to tap on the box and tell the device to always allow access, and then confirm that you want to grant USB debugging mode access. Now, if you needed to grant that access, 
you may need to execute this command again in order to get a result that shows your serial number with the word device next to it. Now, when you're ready to be reboot your Android device into fast boot mode, we simply need to execute the command adb space reboot space bootloader. We're going to press enter. And as long as you do not get any error message here, you will see your smartphone or tablet begin to reboot. You will see your device reboot into a menu like this. And from here, you can perform things like a bootloader unlock fast boot command, a reboot into recovery mode, or a few other useful tasks. As now you have booted your device into fast boot mode. Now, when you're done, I would normally tell you to use the volume up or volume down button to make sure that the start option is highlighted up here and then press the power button to select that option so that your phone reboots out of fast boot mode and back into the Android operating system. But since you're watching this video, it's likely because one or more of your hardware buttons are broken. So another way to reboot back into Android is to execute the command fastboot space reboot. You'll do this from the same prompt or PowerShell window that you used to access fastboot mode. And you can see as soon as I press enter on the keyboard, it will reboot the device and take you back into the Android operating system. This boot process will be exactly the same that you're used to. So you'll see it go to the boot animation screen before transitioning you into your lock screen. Feel free to let me know if you ran into any issues following this guide. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.